So Mendel observed the law of independent assortment because when he performed a dihybrid cross, he noticed the offspring showed all the original characteristics of the parent generation, but in different combinations. Remember, we said that if the law of independent assortment is not true, Mendel would have only observed two different phenotypes, and that is yellow round peas and green wrinkled peas, because yellow and round would be linked together and green and wrinkles would be linked together so they'd be inherited together but what Mendel actually observed he observed yellow wrinkled green round yellow round and green wrinkled so as we said all the original characteristics but in different combinations also remember a dihybrid cross we said is a cross that involves two traits so now it's time for an example of how to do a proper dihybrid cross here are Mendel's peas and Mendel began with a homozygous dominant and a homozygous recessive individual in the parent generation. So we have yellow round yellow or green wrinkled peas. And for this, um, these two individuals, there are only one gamete combination per individual. So here, the only gamete combination is yellow round, and here the only gamete combination is green wrinkled. That makes sense because those are the only two alleles present in the genotypes. So all the F1 generation offspring will be heterozygous for both color and shape in a big Y, little y, big R, little r. And their phenotype will only be yellow round. So this is the most simple dihybrid cross. Um, just like the most simple monohybrid cross, it's pretty basic and it's easy to figure out what the offspring will be. But just as Mendel did um, a heterozygous monohybrid cross, Mendel also did a heterozygous dihybrid cross. So it looks something like this. It'll be Y, big Y, little Y, big R, little R, by big Y, little Y, big R, little R. And we solved the monohybrid cross with a Punnett square. Once again, we can use a Punnett square for the dihybrid cross to greatly simplify calculating the genotypes of the offspring. Clearly, you can see that this Punnett square is a lot bigger. Um, but once you learn how to fill it out, it'll be easy as pie. So now by the law of independent assortment, the gametes formed by each of the heterozygous individuals can be as follows. Notice how all the original characteristics are still there but in different combinations so you can have yellow round and green wrinkles as well as yellow wrinkled and green round alleles in each of the gametes so because you have two heterozygous individuals with the same genotypes the second individual also has the same gamete combinations like so so let's first walk through um, the first row together for how to fill this out it's just like the monohybrid cross Punnett square you have big Y big Y big R big R here big Y big Y big R little R here big Y little Y big R big R and then big Y little Y big R little R so you get kind of get the process like this is where the Y is coming from this is where the second Y comes from this is where the first R comes from second R comes from same deal. Now you can fill out the entire chart and it looks something like this in the end. So it tells you all the genotypes and all the phenotypes of your pea plant offspring from a dihybrid heterozygous cross. And what you notice from this, here's a trick to remember, a heterozygous dihybrid cross will always have a 9 to 3 to 3 to 1 Gene, or phenotype, sorry, phenotype ratio. So the nine is the yellow round. Um, the threes are the yellow wrinkled and green round, and the one is the green wrinkled. And this is um, a lot easier to remember than to have to constantly fill out this really large pun and square every single time you encounter a dihybrid cross between two heterozygous organisms. Unfortunately, it only works with two heterozygous organisms, so you should still get familiar with how to do a pun and square um, in a dihybrid cross. And so I'm going to end the video here, but please make sure to check out the next video, which will be practicing with more dihybrid crosses.